Okay, so on to the impersonators now. Um, interesting, I mean, the word impersonate, the definition of that is to assume or act the character of, okay? And to imitate is to follow as a pattern, model, or example. So there's a distinct difference here. So the impersonators, well, we've got to talk first of all about how do you impersonate Chaplin? Very distinctive mannerisms and uh, physical attributes. Um, I mean, let's have a look at how you would walk like Chaplin does here. Uh, we could give Robert Downey Jr. A, a chance. Hi, I'm Robert Downey Jr. Good. Thanks for clarifying that. And, uh, okay, Downey boy, show us what you got. They all do the Johnny Chaplin Pretty walk. good. The Johnny Chaplin walk is and when walk. Max Linder, who the was a major Chaplin influence on Chaplin, visited Chaplin in his studio, they did a little bit of... Uh, imitation of each other but who better to teach the walk than Chaplin himself here he is getting some members of a ship's crew to have a little go and here he is with Douglas Fairbanks it's interesting because Chaplin, his success was so huge within a very short space of time at Keystone. This film was actually made a few months after he left. And look who pops up as someone impersonating Chaplin in a Keystone film. This is Harry McCoy doing the honours in 1915. And just a couple of years later, even Chaplin himself got in on the act when he got Lloyd Bacon to impersonate himself in his first mutual comedy, The Floor Walker. So the look of the tramp and the walk were all distinguishing features that were all copyable and marketable. It's one of those facts of life, isn't it, that when there's success, there's money and then there are hills. There were even look-alike competitions. Pat Sullivan, the animator, was allowed to make a series of ten animations between 1918 and 19. They were hugely successful. And um, Chaplin allowed this sort of thing to happen. This is a, a Chaplin impersonator in Nice, France. And basically the whole film, which is about 20 minutes long, is this guy going around doing product placement and advertising local businesses but you can see the crowd all thinks maybe, is that really him? Starovich, the animator, used Chaplin in one of his films. And of course the Warner Brothers cartoons of the time were featuring Chaplin. He was everywhere.